Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be reviewing 89 rated Michael Laudrup. Now, Michael Laudrup has four star skills and a four star weak foot. And the reason why I bought him into the team is because I need somebody to pass the ball. Honestly, I had a major issue in FIFA 20 about passing. Major issue. And it looks like it's creeping up again. You know, I didn't make that pass and they score against me. I really need someone like Michael Laudrup, you know, someone who can score goals, someone who's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot, someone who's got amazing dribbling and somebody who's got amazing passing. I can't wait to get into the video. I can't wait to show you guys what this card is about because it is absolutely sensational. Honestly, he brings a lot to the table, which is what I want to say. I can't wait to get into the review. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to point out that at this stage, I was goal three and I was fighting for goal two. And I used this fantastic player, Michael Laudrup. Now, why was he fantastic? In this game, I thoroughly believe that you need one player in your team who can assist. And let me tell you something, you're looking at the man. Michael Laudrup, what a player, his crossing was fantastic. Now, I know some of you guys might be against crossing but it is a viable option to score goals with, okay? Now, his crossing and his ability to score goals did shock me. So this was a nice goal there for Michael Laudrup. Now, let me tell you something about Laudrup. I essentially brought him into the team just to dribble and pass. And he did that amazingly. He was a great playmaker. I loved his dribbling on the ball. Despite his height, he had fantastic dribbling. I love the way he has four-star, four-star combination. And I think to myself, this card is very worth it. I got him for around 275,000 coins. I got a hunter on him. And let me tell you, he can definitely score. He's got the finesse shot tree as well. That's a bit of salt and vinegar on the fact that he can finish the ball. Now... Like I said, I didn't get him to finish. He can finish. That's what I want to point out in the review. How did he pass and dribble? He was fantastic. Honestly, every time he was on the ball, the man was doing something. He is, and I kid you not, a worse version, version, he's a worse version of Zinedine Zidane and Kevin De Bruyne. He's got more pace than Kevin, though. He feels faster than Kevin De Bruyne. But I tell you something, I do really enjoy this card. And I do really rate this card because of his ability to pass his short passes. Pinpoint. When I mean pinpoint, it's pinpoint. You can put a pin on it. Right? And on top of that, his long pass is also really good. He's got four-star skills that gives you an option. Okay, in the box to do a little bit of swaz. But overall... The reason why I bought this card, he definitely fulfilled his objective. Okay, which is why I can't be too critical. Was there any bad things about him? Per se, this card is actually very, very complete with decent pace, decent shooting, very good dribbling, very good passing. His physicals are pretty decent. So you can't bash this card. And plus on top of that, I think he's one of the cheapest icons on the market. So I've got a very soft side for this guy, and I think for what he can do, I think he's worth it. I can't not tell you to pick this card up. Honestly, he's a, he's a real playmaker, and you need that type of player in the game. All right, now don't get me wrong; he isn't a master in like you know he's not Van he's not he's not Van Basten in finishing. He's not Butragueno. Okay, for them purposes though, but I am gonna rate him an 8.8 out of 10 and the reason why he gets quite a high rating is because this card is a great playmaker honestly he really is a great playmaker big respects to this fantastic player honestly 8.8 .8 is justified because you know what he can do it all he can do a bit of everything